Hello everyone, it's me, Miss Madala. Today we're going to learn about rainbows and eating them. Eating a rainbow can be very good for your heart, your brain, your bones, and your blood. First things first, how are you doing today? If you're doing really good and you're excited and energetic and ready for this activity today, give me two thumbs up. If you're feeling okay, not really good, not really bad, just kind of in the middle, give me these. And if you're feeling down, a little bit sad maybe, not so good, you can give me two thumbs down. And just remember, whatever way you're feeling, there's space for it. You're just fine. Thanks for letting me know. How am I doing? I'm doing like this. Feeling really good and excited for a great lesson and a fun activity. All right, everyone, stand up. Let's do a quick activity together. So you're going to stand with your arms by your side. Then you're gonna take a deep breath in Lift your hands overhead and then breathe out. Deep breath in, lift your hands overhead and breathe out. Deep breath in, lift your hands overhead and breathe out. One more time, deep breath in and breathe out. Now with your arms by your side, you're going to start to wiggle out all of your giggles and go. <laughs> wiggle them out. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and stop. Hands by your side again. Be quiet and still. And take one more deep breath in. And I breathe out. Now we're ready to begin. Before we get started with today's lesson, um, let's talk about our three agreements. Agreement number one, be respectful of your teachers, your caregivers, your friends, and yourself. Agreement number two, be open. If you want to answer out loud, don't be afraid to yell your answer out loud. And agreement number three, have fun, because fun is the heart of learning. All right, we're ready to get started. So what you'll need for today's activity is a blank piece of paper, some color pencils, markers, crayons, and finally, you'll need a great attitude. So what's your favorite color? Oh, really? That's awesome. Well, my favorite color, one of my favorite colors is purple. So now, with your favorite color in mind, draw as many fruits and vegetables of that color that you can think of. Go ahead and pause the video now so that you can take time to draw the pictures. Welcome back. Let's see. I drew a purple onion, purple cabbage, purple lettuce, blueberries, blackberries, and beets. What did you draw? Awesome, you did a great job. Fruits and vegetables have different vitamins and nutrients that help our bodies stay healthy. The more colorful foods you eat, the better. And different colored vegetables and fruits have, help us in different ways. Fruits and vegetables have what we call phytonutrients that help us fight off being sick. Can you do that with me? Say phytonutrients and punch the air. Phytonutrients, phytonutrients, phytonutrients. Good job. Plants create these phytonutrients to help protect themselves, but when we eat them, they protect us too. 
So everyone, stand up with me. So for each color, I'm going to do a different hand motion. So please just copy the hand motion and listen in because we'll do a quick game at the end to test to see how well you are listening. So red fruits and vegetables are very good for your heart and your skin. Can everyone do that with me? Good job. Orange and deep yellow are very good for your eyes. They even help you to see in the dark. Can you do this with me? Good job. Yellow, brown, and white fruit, fruits and vegetables are very good for your blood. Do this. The blood that runs through your veins. One more time. And green, green is green fruits and vegetables are good to help healthy, strong bones and teeth. Make a big, big smile and lift up your arms like you're very strong. Grrr. Good job, everybody. And the last one, blue and purple. They're good for to help your memory stay good, as well as helping you to age healthy as you get older. So can you do this with me? Good job. Now let's play a game. Were you listening? Do you remember what each color and how it's good for your body? Well, I'm going to do a hand movement and say how it's good for you and then you tell me what color. Let's get started. good for your blood, keeps your blood healthy. If you said yellow, white, and brown, then you're correct. Good job. It keeps your memory good and keeps you healthy as you get older. If you said blue and purple, then you are right on. Good job. It keeps your heart healthy and your skin healthy as well. If you said red, then you are right on the money. Good job. It keeps your bones and teeth healthy and strong. If you said green, then you're exactly right. Good job. It keeps your eyes healthy so that you can even see in the dark. If you said orange and deep yellow, then you're exactly right. Good job. Now that we've played our game, what does eating a rainbow look like? Well, you're in luck because we have one more activity for today. And you don't have to join in today if you don't want to. You can play this another time and join along with me then. But make sure you have a parent present because we're going to be working a blender, maybe even chopping up some fruits and vegetables. So you wanna be careful and have a caregiver with you at all times. But we're going to be making a rainbow smoothie. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's head to the kitchen. So welcome to my kitchen. So we're about to make a rainbow smoothie. We have lots of really colorful and delicious fruits and vegetables here to work with. Let's take a look. You don't have to use all the exact same ingredients that I use. You can 
substitute anything for what you have. So if you have something orange, like an orange, or if you have some different kind of green, or if you prefer blackberries to blueberries, substitute as you wish. And so you use about two cups of fruit, and fresh or frozen. Frozen gives it a nice uh, creamy texture when you blend it up. And um, I always like using bananas, uh, because bananas add a sweetness um, to the smoothie without adding any extra sugar. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I like to do, I always start with the greens first. And that's because the greens blend up the easiest. So all the heavy stuff is on top so it slowly mixes together as, as you blend. Next I'll put our banana in. breaking it up into smaller chunks so it's easier to blend up. And a note about the greens, don't worry about how it's going to taste. Spinach has such a mild flavor that it's not really overpowering. You don't taste a bunch of green spinach. You taste the sweet and delicious and tangy fruits, and, uh, fruits in your smoothie instead. Next I'll go to our mango and pineapple and strawberry. Go ahead and put that in. Put our, our raspberries and strawberries, blueberries and blackberries. Then I'll put the fresh blueberries. And our very orange and delicious looking papaya. So now that our rainbow is all completely in the blender, You'll take your liquid. I'm choosing to use water, but you can use milk, almond milk, soy milk, um, oat milk, any kind of liquid that you want, even orange juice or pineapple juice, whatever you have, it'll work just fine. So I'm pouring some of that water in. And all the measurements will be on the in the description underneath the video. Go ahead and secure the lid firmly. And remember, use the help of your caregiver. Let them do this part, because sometimes it's a little dangerous for, for young kids to try it. So be safe and be smart. So I'm just gonna turn it on. Turn up the speed a little bit. Get it going. Well, I hope that you enjoy 
and have a wonderful day. And remember, 